Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah, kohulo yamla yahu abashim yahu shai, baha shem rakha hakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwatha that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Abashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Yahshanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit, and you know, just basically wanted to touch on, you know, you women, I um, mean, you know, especially in this truth, and just in general, you know, um, you know, you have to be circumspect. And to watch your surroundings and, you know, actually to pray. It's really time to repent. You know, it, you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, come to this knowledge of this truth. And act accordingly, man. Because there's a, a script or there's a, a order to the way that the Lord, you know, created us. And, and things that he told us to do and don't do. And our women are, uh, you know, far out of order. Now, this particular situation right here, I wanted to speak on because it brought to mind there was a situation this past week with a young lady being attacked, I think, in her apartment gym. She actually was able to fight that guy off. So, OK, cool. Um, but just think if there were two or three guys. Four guys, five guys, and that's coming where it's going to be multiple men that's going to be breaking into homes, man. Um, You know, and women being ravished in these last days, man. Now, you had another situation with a police officer or ex. No, um, she was an off duty officer, which she shouldn't be a police officer anyway. But, you know, um, a guy supposedly was trying to grab her pistol or whatever. And, you know, she ended up shooting and killing him. So, OK, great. She made it through that. But what if it had been a struggle between two or three guys, you know, because see the, the, the so-called white man, he's given our women this this um, image of she can, you know, she she can just. She's a man. She she can do what a man can do. She's as rough as a man. She can handle business like a man. She can handle herself like a man. That's all um, lies from Esau Edom, the so-called white man. But let's get off into some of this article. It says um, three teenage girls and gunmen dead in Texas shooting. Authorities say three teenage girls, including one who was pregnant, was fatally shot by man who also sexually assaulted a 12 year old girl who later escaped, then fatally shot himself. See? See? But, hey, matter of fact, let's let's go into, uh, matter of fact, I just want to just, let's get the basics real quick here. Um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Because this is the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. A lot of judgment has been going out, man. Uh, 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 and especially on women. I mean, it's been a lot of really gruesome crimes that have been going out on um, women these days. A lot of stuff is going on in the backdrop here, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See? That's that. Yeah, that's your Hawabash Shemelashai. So why wouldn't you want to be on the side of him? Why wouldn't you want to say, yeah, well, please have mercy on me, you know? Please guide me throughout my day to day, you know? And it, a, a lot of people just wake up, they don't even acknowledge him. And this is mainly for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because you are the children of Israel. You are the Israelites. You are the ones that the Lord gave the laws, the statutes, and commandments to. This, this truth is not for all the nations, man. It's not for all the heathens, because the heathens actually have you in captivity. The Lord is coming to get you out of the cap, out of the captive's hands. So how are they going to be saved? No, they're going into captivity like the scripture says they're going into captivity. According to um, Revelation um, 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So they're going into slavery for what they've done to you. So this truth to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men, women, and child, this is for you to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai. And you have to get rid of that white Jesus crap, man. That idolatrous white Jesus crap is what's got our people running throughout the earth just all flimsy and anything goes and the Lord loves everything. He loves me. I'm saved by grace. Hey, all that is, 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 is a lie. You see? Okay, it says, um, no names have been released. The killings occurred at the home of the gunman's girlfriends in the Houston suburb of Galena Park at about 10.30 p.m. Saturday. So he done done this. This, this, this is his girlfriend's um, um, house that he's doing this in. 
It says the girls who were killed were 19, 14, and 13. See, the Lord is not playing, man. He's judging them. He's no respect to a person. And he raped a little 12-year-old. <laughs> hey, hey, the Lord is not playing no games, man. It's time to repent. It says the 38-year-old man then attacked the 12-year-old and then told her to run out of the house. So, that, hey, that was mercy from Yahweh. She grabbed the one-year-old baby girl and fled. So that was mercy from Yahweh by Shimei. I was shy that the 12-year-old and the one-year-old baby made it out. But he hadn't already raped, the, you know, assaulted the 12-year-old. You know? All these, <laughs> I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. She ran out of the residence, residence without any clothing to the home of a neighbor who called Galena Park Police. When she ran out, she managed to think about it, thankfully, and was able to grab the one-year-old and ran away. Gonzalez said, both girls were hospitalized for treatment of injuries that were, non -life, that were not life-threatening, according to the statement from Galena Park Police. The investigation has been turned over to the Sheriff's Department. Authorities did not immediately return a message. Okay, uh, Gonzalez said the man's girlfriend was the mother of the 12-year-old. So he done assaulted his, his girlfriend. Who knows? He could have been pissed with her about some shit. She probably dipped up. Probably hadn't been home all goddamn week. Probably with some other dude. I'm just, you know, speculating. You know, never mind me on that. It says, um, Gonzalez said the man's girlfriend was the mother of the 12-year-old and the 19-year-old. And the 19-year-old, of course, was pregnant. It says the older victim was the mother of the baby and was pregnant. So the one-year-old and she was pregnant. The one-year-old, the 12-year-old ran away with was her daughter or, or, or her child. And she was pregnant. So he killed her and, and you know, the baby... So the Lord is 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 no respect to our persons, man. And we just read that it's the Lord that do all these things, you know, um, that, that he's the one that kills and makes alive. He's the one that wound and heals. So he killed the pregnant woman, you know, with the baby in her that died. See. Says the sheriff said the girlfriend was not at home at the time of the shooting. So the girlfriend, she wasn't there. She was probably out partying. Probably at the damn wherever, man. She ain't no telling where the hell she was. Could have been across the border in some other damn. She could have been in Mexico. You know, it says the sheriff, the sheriff said authorities were working to determine the relationship of the other two teenagers who were shot. But that's but described them as family members. Gonzalez offered no suspected motive. OK, yeah, they ain't gonna have no motive right off. It says the U.S. has been has seen a deadly start. To 2023 including six mass shootings in the, in three weeks period of january <laughs> god damn boy it says it defines a mass shooting as four more people dead okay all right six people were killed in a mass shooting friday in mississippi yeah i've done a lesson on that one and that guy he killed his ex-wife you know so hey it, it's it's high time to wake out of sleep um wake up out of sleep out here um so let's go into Matter of fact, let me get this scripture real quick. Uh, because this is what's done happened in the world. The Lord has decreed a woman compassing men, but it's going back to the regular uh, state, man. Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And see, that's been going on for a long time. And that, and that period, time period, is going to come to an end along with Esau Edom, the so-called white man's rule. Because the so-called white man, he's one of the main contributors of the woman being above men in this earth. The so-called white man. Because it started out with him doing that to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American families. What he didn't, you know, count on was it was going to land on him, too. So his women are above him as well in this country and other um, European countries. And just in general, you know, not in all countries, but definitely where the so-called white man is in rulership. The woman is above the man, right? That's the reason why they are able to go out all time of night, do what they want to do. You know, go hop on whatever dudes you want to hop on with for the night, you know, and... Divorce a man, take half his money and put him on child support and do all these different things. But men are getting pissed the fuck off these days, man. And it's going to come a point where this thing is going to really get wild, man. See, right now you still have 911 to call, but 911 is not making it there soon enough for people. People are like, man, people don't give a shit no more. People shooting at the police now at a rapid rate. 
You know, it's didn't happen. You know, you had back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, where you got a, a, a damn criminal. He don't have nothing to lose because he done robbed a bank. He didn't kill the police officer and, you know, he didn't kill the security guard. You know, he's just like, man, I don't fuck it. I'm just going to go out with a blaze. But now you have people that shooting and killing police officers. That's, that's just showing up for a domestic violence complaint. That didn't happen um, a few times. Matter of fact, it was one of those, I think, um, um, this week, this past week. So officers have been getting killed just by showing up for a regular warrant or just showing up to say, hey, you know, um, the wife didn't call the police on the husband and he still got the gun and he busting off that. So, I mean, this thing is, is happening, man. But let's get this um, Isaiah. So you women had to wake up and, and come out of that ease that you're in. And to you, you young ladies, you know that's in this troop, man. Hey, man, hey, may you, how about you, me? I wish I protect you and your household and your family. You know, because I know a lot of you are on a dolo. Some of, you know, a lot of our women that are into this truth, you know, they're really sincerely into this truth. They believe in you. How about you, me? I wish I, they pray to you. How about you, me? I wish I, and they're by themselves. They don't have a, a husband, you know? So, you know, we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he will have mercy on you in these last days. And hey, if you can get what you an Israelite man, get what you get what you want. It's, it's better to be under the covering of an Israelite man in these last days than to be by yourself, man. You know, because he's covered by, we're covered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you are covered by the men, you know, in that order, you know? Okay, so it's Isaiah um, 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall be troubled. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall not fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and bear you, make you, make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. And which basically is, you know, in, in Latin terms, is just saying, repent. Repent, man. Be shamefaced. You are women too proud. Women are, 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 are proud as hell these days. Between them, the so-called white man and the LGBTQ, those are some of the most proudest people on the planet, man. Proud as hell. Talking all kinds of shit, gossiping, just, 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 I'm this, I'm that, I'm above you, I'm above, you know. Just a bunch of don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes to them. Because I'm willing to bet you all three of these people that got shot and killed, especially the 19-year-old, the pregnant 19-year-old, you think she woke up that morning and was thinking that somebody was going to shoot and kill her ass? Nope. She probably woke up proudly. Got some other guy thinking that the baby is his and she dealing with some other guy. You know, I'm just making scenarios, man. I'm just coming up with scenarios. Because the, the woman is, is treacherous in this, in this place, man. The 14 and the 13 year old was probably on TikTok or Instagram, you know, just just being little little slut buckets themselves because it don't take that long with these young ladies, man. The 12 year old. She was probably running through the house all along with her little makeup on and, you know, uh, uh, running through the house with little shorts on. And that nigga was probably looking at her all the time. And he probably just had that thought in his head like, up. Oh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm pissed with the, the, you know, with the girlfriend. I'm just gonna, you know, when she, I'll show her something when she gets home. Who knows, man? Anyway, and since we're already in Isaiah, let's get, let's get this Isaiah 45 and 7. So you have to get that mind. You have to get out of your mindset that white Jesus character that he loves everybody because that's not the case. That's not scriptural. And he's not a so-called white man. He's a the, the Lord. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. He's a dark melanated man, according to the scriptures, according to Revelation chapter one, um, verses 13 through 15. It tells you that he's a dark melanated man with woolly hair. You know, roughly paraphrasing that he had a deep voice. He was an austere man, which means that he was he was rough and rigid. What, what do you think? I mean, the Lord just I mean, with the flood, when you really think about it, with the flood of Noah. The Lord killed off everybody on the planet except for eight people. You know they have to have been babies. You know they have to have been pregnant women at that time. Elderly women on canes and shit. You know? Old men, young men, baby boys, baby girls. The Lord flooded all their asses out, man. So where's all this? The Lord loves everybody. But, you, but see, they'll tell you, you see, they, what the Christian church is, is trying to get you to think is that the Lord done changed. And the scripture says clearly the Lord, he changed not. He's still that same power, man. 
and he's coming. He's sending his son to destroy this place in his second coming. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But Christianity is one of the main things that's got people fucked up out here, man. This is Isaiah um, 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See, the Lord is the one that created peace and evil, which evil is just a word that just means bad times. You know how scared a, a person got to be? You, here you go. He didn't already shot and kill one, one girl. The others is looking like, oh, shit, is that old shit? You know, just sh shivering, snotty at the nose, snotty ass nose, tears mixed with snot. Because now things done got real. And that's what's going to happen in the America. See, people, they, you know, um, the scriptures talks about, um, what's that scripture? Uh, I can't think. Uh, I think it's in Proverbs, but, it, you know, roughly paraphrasing it. People basically, they, they you know, because um, justice or because uh, the law is not served immediately, people just bug the fuck all out and go and just be doing all kinds of stuff, roughly paraphrasing. They just, you know, oh, well, ain't nothing going to be done because the Lord is long suffering. See, and the Lord, he, you know, he gives time for people to, to um, you know, to repent. He's merciful. So people take that, that as, as, as a sign of, oh, well, ain't nothing going to be done. He ain't going to do nothing. We ain't worried about that. He ain't done nothing yet. And then when I was going through the comments of this story, you got idiots in the comments that's speaking that way. But this is, um, let's go to uh, Amos 3 and 6. What they say, it ain't no fun until the rabbit got the gun. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people will not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? See? The Lord done that. And the Lord, he created, um, let's get this. Let's go into the apocryphal real quick. The Lord created spirits for vengeance. So you see, you have to get into the scriptures and learn the real, the realness of the Lord. Because if you just listening to your pastor and he's telling you about how much the Lord loves you, no matter what you do, then you're not going to get it. You have to realize that the Lord, he created spirits for vengeance, man. This is, um. The book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the, um, the Apocrypha 39 and verse 28. It reads, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they power up their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord, he created spirits for vengeance. And in their fury, you know, hey, when they, they out here, they just like, ah, they, they, they go hard, man. They, they power up their force. And they appease the wrath of him that made them. So they appease the Lord's wrath because the Lord is pissed with the sinners every day. Don't think that the Lord is just sitting around like, oh, that's Jimmy. Uh, he, uh, you know, he's just Jimmy. Nah, man. The Lord is, 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 is out here. He's sending forth these spirits to do people dirty, man, on a day to day basis. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Just think about those people that were over there in Turkey underneath those buildings. Here you go. You got eight nine floors on top of your ass and, and you just in there still alive you know how scary that is you still in that one little girl she was in there she she had to drink her urine for the for 10 days she was under there for like 10 days and survived off drinking her urine can you imagine that i bet you she, she wasn't thinking about no i don't know how old she was but if she was older i bet she wasn't thinking about no lipstick and no nails and no eyelashes and shit then i bet you that I bet you she was really thinking to herself, like, how am I going to get the hell out of here? And praying to her false God, Allah. And just so happened, how about Shem Yahushua allow her to live? You see? But her, I think all her, all, you know, her family members um, died. Mother, father, everybody in there just crushed. Up to 50,000, 60,000 people, right? It says, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents. And the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. There's been a lot of um, Teeth of Wild Beasts um, um, series going on. I've done a lesson a few weeks back where, you know, it was a cheetah, I think, in a damn courthouse and, and mauled up, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, some damn lawyers in, in the courthouse. Like, how, how, how does that happen? Pit bulls running the streets of America, stray dogs all through the, you know, people being being getting um, being killed by their own pets. The Lord places a spirit on, on, on those pets when they do th do things like that, man. Verse 31, it says they shall rejoice 
in his commandments. So these spirits, they're glad to get an assignment from the Lord to go and kill, whether it's baby, um, your grandmama, your granddaddy, whoever. They, they rejoice in that. It says they, re they shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. So they ready. They are. They already. They always ready. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So it's basically a hit. It's like you know. You you know. You see movies. You got this hit man. You know what I'm saying? And you know everybody know who to call. He's just well. You know in the movie he's working out. He's hitting the big bag. You know. And then all of a sudden he get that phone call on. He live. He's basically living out of a motel. And most of them, he gets that call. You know, they send shoot the money through to his account. And here he comes. He's he's coming to do he's coming to get down. <laughs> it is what it is, man. So I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. And when I thought about it, it just brought me to mind of um these incidents that's been going on the, throughout this week. Cause like I said, that one it's on video. That was on the um national news with the one Jake. He looked like a Jake. Matter of fact, let me see, um uh, Salakia. Okay, yeah, this is it right here. Female body bodybuilder recalls fighting back in Tampa gym at the man attacks her. See? And see, they're gonna make her seem like she's a hero. But the thing of it is, is, and she's a pretty little lady, but just think about it. Had there been two guys, three guys, she wouldn't have been able to um she wouldn't have been able to buy off. Because she she's, you know, it is what it is. You can watch the video if you want to, but they they're making her out to be a hero. You know, look at me. I'm in the gym. I can handle a man. And see, that's the type of um, mindset that they want you women to be in. They want you to be in the mindset that, hey, I can. Now, with a lot of these new school guys, these millennials, hey, these, they, they're so damn effeminate. They act like women themselves. So they're flimsy. They're not in shape. They don't do any damn thing. They just, you know. So uh, the average woman can handle some of these guys these days, you know. But overall, I'm talking about in a mindset or a general setting of. In these last days, there's going to come a point where you're not going to be able to call 911. You're going to be bunkered down in your house and hoping that because and it's going to be crazy because dudes are already going to know where you live. They're going to already know about you. You know, that that's going to go for your baby daddy to all the other exes that you had. You got five dudes, six dudes. You're going to be caught trying to get in touch with one of those dudes to come through and protect you in that house when shit hits the fans. Because some of them dudes are going to come to your house. They're going to, hey, look, I'm, I'm here. Honey, I'm home. You done dogged them out. You done had them on child support. You done done all kinds of weirdo shit to them. You know, you done, you know. So you done had them put in jail, all kinds of stuff. So these guys are going to have in their mind, like, I'm going to get that. Bitch. I'm going to get her. She, they, they know you got a daughter. They know you got two daughters, three daughters. Might be bringing some of their homeboys through. Like, yo, come on through, man. She got some fine-ass little girls. And some of them going to be in the little boys. Nah, man, I ain't into them girls. She got a son. Going to come through. Have your ass chained to a radiator, man. Like some of these damn movies, man. I'm telling you. Hey, they don't they do not do this pre-movie um, this pre -movie shit for nothing, man. They show you this stuff in these movies because they're letting you know that they have an a, a insight into what's to come. If things continue the way that this that is going right now, and we know that it is because we understand prophecy, we believe in the Lord, we believe in the scriptures, man. We understand that it's gonna be all out chaos out here soon, man. It's gonna be fucking chaos. It's only a matter of time before America really just up, you know, just had that brain aneurysm, man. This place is through, and. Let me go off into this real quick. Let me let me pull this real fast, because when you go into the one thirds and two thirds of the scriptures where it talks about two thirds of the. Uh, let me get it real quick. A lot of those two thirds are going to be women, because why? There are a lot more women on, the, on, you know, that's out here than men. Oh, let me see. If I'm wording this right, okay. Uh, Zechariah 13. Let me go all the way into it. Get verse, um, let 
Let me start from verse 7. Second, Zechariah 14 and 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. See? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two thirds of a hundred people, that's 66.6 .6 people. If you want to do the math. So every thousand people, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be 600. You know, hey, that's a, that's a lot of people. So out of those 60, out of a, if it's a hundred people and you got 66 people that's going to die. And a majority of, 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 of the people on the planet is women because, you know, if the numbers are right, you know, Esau be lying. But if there are seven women to one man or eight women to one man, that has to let you know that there's going to be a lot more women that's going to be dying when the Lord comes as opposed to men. They're going to be getting that business. Because you women, hey, hey, it's nothing like the wickedness of a woman, man. Nothing like the hey, wicked niggas too. Don't get me wrong, Jake. You wicked niggas, the Lord going to give you the business too. But it's just something about a woman when she's wicked as hell, man. When she's just out here just saying, shame faced it. She don't have no type of morals. She don't give a shit. She's just out here just brute, nasty ass. She's like a feral cat that's running through the neighborhood and all the other cats are hitting her, man. You know, it's just, it's, it's another type of nastiness. And the Lord is going to do, and you have to realize that. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, that's a lot. What's that first Timothy? See, you have to realize that. Let me see. Let me start. First Timothy 2 and 13. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was into the transgression. See? So ever since the serpent, the, the woman has been, you know, just just done fucked the whole world up, basically. And, and, you know, and I mean, it's all prophecy by Yahweh, by Shemel Shai. But that woman and Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, I will, hey, that, that combination right there is just death to, to, to the average so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. So the Lord is going to pay you back because you're the counterpart. You're, you're the, the um... You partner up with the with the villain. You're the you're the villain's partner, man. It's like you see the movie, you know what I'm saying? You with your wife and some guy break into the house. And just when you're about to, you know what I'm saying, kill the person that broke into the house, your wife hits you over the head because she's been dealing with this nigga. She's in love with him. Then you wake up, your ass duct taped, you know what I'm saying, and she's standing next to him. <laughs> hey, it's about to get grimy out here, man. So, hey, I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec because this is just one male that's in the house that's done handled four little women, right? And that woman is the weaker vessel. You're the weaker vessel, man. Don't get to thinking that you're superwoman out here and, and you're about to be um, Wakanda for life with um, Angela Bassett, man. The Lord is about to show you women. He's about to set you in your place, man. So it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep and repent and, and, and come back to, to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai and settle in, man, and be humble. Because the Lord, he loves a humble um, spirit, man, a contrite spirit. But you women are so fucking proud. The Lord, he hates that, man. And you're going to see. I'm telling you, you're going to see. So I just wanted to touch on that, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashallah.